Good morning. Hey everybody, Carl Shoup here from Snorkel.tv and today I want to talk a little bit about using the plugin explorer that comes with the Green Sock tweening platform, uh, specifically for use with Tween Lite and Tween Max. Now the plugin explorer allows you to tween things other than just the basic movie clip properties that you might be used to like position, scale, rotation, and alpha. On the screen here you'll see that I'm animating a drop shadow effect. There's also a very quick blur happening here. And on this image you'll see that we're doing a color saturation effect where the color is being removed, it's getting a little bit brighter, and uh, there are many different plugins that you can use with the GreenSock tweening platform and we're going to show you how to get up and running so that you can extend your animations beyond the norm and add some pretty cool effects. All right. Um, also, I want to say that this is really going to focus on how to use this plugin explorer and to avoid some of the pitfalls that beginners have. So I'm going to close this Swift and we're going to jump over to my starter file. And here I just have a few movie clips. I have Drop Shadow MC, Blur MC, and I have Image MC. And I'm going to use each one of these to just show you how you start using the different plugins that are available to you. You just want to make sure though that the files that you're working in are being saved in a folder right here that has access to all of the green sock uh, tweening code. All right. Uh, if you need any help getting started with getting those files there, go to greensock.com and you can download them for free. Okay. And when you download those files, you're also going to get a demo Swifts folder. And in here, you're going to find the plugin explorer. So I'm going to open that up and you'll see that we have a whole list of all the different plugins that we can use. Now it's very important to note that for tween light, you need to manually activate each plugin individually. And this saves you file size when you are using these plugins in tween light. If you're using tween light, chances are you're trying to really skimp on uh, case size of your Swift. So you only need to turn on the plugins that you want. Whereas in Tween Max, most of these plugins are already activated and there's very little in addition you need to do. So here, let's just click on the uh, drop shadow filter. So when I go to the example, I have an interactive tool here that allows me to change the color of my drop shadow. Maybe I'll make it bright green. I can change how blurry it is. Let's just go to, with a high number here, 60, and hit Tween. So now you can see that my drop shadow um, works really nicely. But let's go ahead and do something a little bit more standard, maybe use a black color and maybe just blur X around like six pixels, blur Y six pixels, and maybe we'll pull the distance in a little bit, maybe like four. Hit tween. Now there's just a very subtle drop shadow around that object. Now you can tweak these parameters all you want. Every time you make a change, the code down below here updates. So I'm just going to copy this code. I'm going to select it, right click, hit copy, go back to flash, and in my starter file, I'm just going to go to the actions in frame one and just paste everything. All right, I'm not typing anything except for the instance name. So I have a movie clip on my stage called drop shadow underscore MC. The next parameter that we see is the duration of my tween. Let's just make it two seconds so you can really see it. And here we're adding a drop shadow filter object that has its own properties like color, alpha, blur X, blur Y. All those parameters that we set are represented in here. Let's just do a quick test. And there you have your two second blur. So you can see that blur animate in. If I want to put a little delay on there, it's just like I would add a delay to any other tween max call. So I'm going to add a comma here and just say delay and we'll say one second. So now we'll wait a second, boom, and now the shadow comes on. So really, it was just a quick little copy and paste. For the blur filter, same thing. We're going to go back to um, the plugin explorer and let's just check out blur. Hit example and let's just do a slight blur along the x-axis and hit tween. Whoa, I need to clean my glasses. We can make that even blurrier. 40, hit tween, and there you go. So again, I already have 
the import statements from the last example. So I'm just going to take this little snippet right here, I'm going to do a right click copy, go back to Flash, go to my actions layer, and I don't need to really think too much because when I'm using tween max, everything that I need is already activated. So I want to show you what happens when we're not using tween max in a second. Let me just tell the blur MC that it's going to blur for one second. And again, here we'll put a delay of 1.5. All right, test this out. So the drop shadow starts and then you have your blur. All right, so two very basic effects. Um, all built with the Plugin Explorer. Now what becomes an issue is if maybe you are crunching for file size and you want to use tween light. Okay, so let's turn our tween maxes into tween lights. Okay, so here we go, both of them. The next time I go to test, we're not really going to get anything. Alright, so what we need to do is activate each plugin individually. Now, when it, you need to get the plugin activation code, well, it's still accessible within the plugin explorer. So let's close this example. And now, next to any of the plugins that you want to use, notice that you can click on this little checkbox here. So we're using the blur filter, and I'm also using the drop shadow filter. So every time I select a new plugin, you'll see that um, the tool creates activation code for each plugin and it also imports the plugins that we need. So I'm going to copy all of this now. All right, hit copy. And this is a very important step if you're using tween light. Let's close this window, go to actions, go to actions frame, and let's do a little paste. All right, so now I am importing the plugins and here I'm activating them. So if you're using tween light, you have to use that step. And now the drop shadow works and then the blur. All right, so it's not that bad. Um, let's wrap up real quick. I'm gonna keep this one short. Let's just talk about doing color adjustments. Let's go back to our tool. So now we're back in the plugin explorer and let's do a color matrix filter. All right, and this is really cool. Um, I use this a lot for desaturating images. So we can just go to saturation here, bring it all the way down to zero. And now we have our grayscale effect if I decide not to colorize. All right. So now I just tweened it to be totally grayed out. Um, and I'm also going to up the brightness a little bit here. And again, you can spend a lot of time adjusting these parameters to be exactly what you want them to be. Uh, maybe I'll even, you know what, let's do a little colorize. Maybe I'll select a slight green in honor of green sock. And we'll just do it a slight, slight amount. Hit tween. And let's just say that's the perfect, perfect setting. All right, I already have import statements for the green sock basic classes and the easing. So let's just take my tween max two, copy all that stuff. And again, let's assume that I have to only use tween light. So I'm going to just paste this in and, you know, we can give you a little bit more room to uh, look at these actions like so. All right. So what we're going to do is this, we're going to call this image MC and we'll do a tween light. And remember, I just used a new plugin. So what I need to do is also activate it in my movie. So let's go back to my plugin explorer real quick. Okay, now back in the plugin explorer, I use the color matrix filter. There's the activation code. And you'll notice that it activates two plugins, the end array plugin and also the color matrix filter plugin. I'm just gonna make sure I have blur selected again and also the drop shadow. Because I'm just gonna overwrite that one line of code that I already have. So we'll just copy this line. Go back to Flash, and in the Actions frame, we're just going to do this for activation. So you'll see here, we're using tween light for all the tweens, and these are all the plugins that are being activated. I copied and pasted basically everything. All right, so there's my little effect. We went to that sort of washed out color there. So we start full color, and then it just burns out.
All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. Um, we're going to be talking a lot more about these plugins as we move forward. Um, really, go to the Green Sox site, check out this tool. Just messing around with it can be a lot of fun. Um, they've got some cool things like the whole uh, Bezier Through example, where you can click to add curves to your tweens, and you can orient a path. It's really nice. Um, some of the Club Green Sock benefits that you get in this package too are also directional motion blur. So if I click over here, he blurs perfectly in the direction that he's moving. It's not just an X of 20 or Y of 20 blur. Um, it's really pretty sick. So we'll be going through a lot more of these features as we move forward. Uh, but that's it guys. Definitely check it out. Go to greensock.com slash tweenmax and right on the page, you can use this plugin explorer and start experimenting with the different plugins. All right, folks, we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.